guys, this is Instructional Skateboarding and today we're going to teach you guys the half cap heel flip which is the trick you just seen. I know that was pretty bad. I haven't skated in a couple days and I want to teach this trick while the weather's nice and I can film. So I'm going to put a couple other good ones here as examples. I find it to be pretty exact and I always have to set up my feet in an exact perfect way. Otherwise I won't even try the trick and if I'm just not rolling right or don't have my feet set up right, I won't even attempt it like I said. So this is how I set up my feet when I go to do a half cap heel flip. Personally, for me, what I would recommend is you set up your back foot exactly like you would an ollie. Just right on the tail, and nice straight, not this way, not that way, not way back here. Just nice and solid on there like you were going to do an ollie. In my back foot and my weight, that's a bit different, so let me explain that. In my back foot, I put it just over the middle, like so, about there. Middle would be about here, so just about maybe half an inch before middle. And I turn it slightly outwards, so not straight, but just slightly outwards. Now, this would be too much, and you'd have to flick too much to get your foot off the board. If you don't do it at all, it's hard for your foot to come all the way around. It's nice, but if you do it like this, it helps with the flick a bit, and more of your foot's off the board, and it just comes off and around easier. So, again, regular ollie for your back foot, just nice and solid on there. Maybe about an inch in from the tail. And then the back foot just over the middle, and just slightly out. Also, when I do this trick, as I'm rolling, I kind of roll into the direction I'm going to do it. I'll show you what I mean. So when I roll backwards, I kind of roll just a little bit so that the front of my board while rolling fakie, or I guess like the nose while you're rolling fakie, is towards the direction that you're turning for that half cap heel flip. So again, when I'm rolling fakey, I kind of come this way just a bit so that I'm not turning a full 180 or doing a full half cap. I may be turning like 160, 150 degrees or so. And that just helps you get it really easier. And it's still a half cap heel. I don't think anyone would really, really complain about that. So, foot positioning and how I have my weight just before I pop the trick. Then, little over half, tiny bit crooked, regular ollie, and then I roll just so that it comes around better and have the board so that the nose, while you're rolling safety, is towards the direction it's going to spin. Now, another thing is you have to lead with your shoulder as you do this trick. So while you're rolling safety, while you're getting set up, you don't want to pop it or you don't want to try and flip the board and do this trick while your shoulders are completely straight. You kind of want to lead your shoulder in the direction you're going. So, I would get set up like this, be rolling like this, and have my shoulder just angled a bit with the trick so that as I pop, my shoulder brings it around for me. So, when I do a half cab, a regular half cab, I'm really square, and I just do the 180 like this, so I'm all squared up to the board. When I do a half cap heel, I kind of cheat it more, and have my shoulder already leaning in the direction that I'm going to be spinning, so that it just works easier, and I don't have to force that momentum around. A lot of the tricks I teach, I talk about momentum a lot, and that's just one of those tips. Cheat the momentum, 
by turning your shoulder a bit in the direction you're going. You can play with how much exactly. Now, some of this trick is you do have to purposely flick out and make sure you flick. You can't really just get away with it or just half ass it and have it flip for you. You really do have to set up and accentuate that flick and make sure you actually do the motion with your foot so that it flips for you. Because the board is kind of doing three things at once. Clocking, turning, and flipping. So because it's those kind of three little motions to get that flip in there, you really do have to actually flick and not just expect the trick to work for you. However, because of the way your shoulders are, and if you cheat it, like I said, if you flick it right and you commit and just stay on it, it is much like a half tap, it just works flipping, but it still works much like a half tap and you can come back on top of it. Even just standing like this, how I would for a half tap heel, going like this, will still come to you, the board will still work. Just that if you flick it right, you'll get that flip, and it'll all work together and come as one. Now you don't have to wait, there's no timing really with this trick. With some tricks, like a front side flip, you might want to pop it, and then flick, kind of almost like a delayed, to make it stylish, that's how a lot of skaters do front side flips. For this trick, it's not really like that. It's just one big solid thing all in one. So you get set up, you pop, and just flick as soon as you pop, and hope that it works for you and just everything comes together in one. You basically just do everything in one, and if you commit, the trick will work for you because of the way you cheat it with momentum, and you kind of just throw it all together. You want to slightly cheat your weight by leaning into it because if you're leaning back as you flick out the board will just get away from you or shoot out so you kind of got to lean into it again like a fakey heel flip because it is a fakey heel flip variation of sorts so once you know your foot placement your weight distribution that you should be slightly into it and about cheating momentum and just rolling backwards with your nose to the direction a little bit you can basically just do it all together. Now, the harder you pop, the easier it is because it just gets you higher in the air and it gives you more time to flick and come around. Whereas if you don't pop hard and you kind of worry more about that flick, then you're both not going to have as much time to do everything in the air, blah, blah, blah. It just makes it harder. So make sure you pop it nice and decently as you try it. And uh, after that, it's basically just practice. Now, common problems are one, you over flip it. I've done this so many times where you put your foot just a little bit too far back and because you flick hard and you have to accentuate that flick for this trick, it just double flips. So either just move your foot up a little bit or don't stick so much of your foot off the board. Like that. If less of your foot is off the board, I'd say this, it's going to be harder to flick and you have more friction. I talked about that in a lot of trick tutorials too. If it's flipping too much, either move your foot just a bit up, or don't hang so much your foot off and just play with that a bit. That's pretty much the most common problem is a double flip. Now, the other most common problem is that it will, is that you overcompensate with your shoulder when you go like this. So as you flip, you come around and you end up like overcompensating. So I'll show you both of those if I can now. So in the recap, I'm going to go over it again, and then you basically just try to commit and put it all together. And uh, if you follow these steps, you should be able to learn tap tap heel. It's not that hard of a trick, but you do have to commit. Sometimes it's weird to commit. So these are the steps to the recap. Position, just over middle. Stay here. Put slightly out just a little bit. Back foot like a regular ollie. Shoot your shoulder a bit and lean into it a bit. Also when you roll, you can point your nose to the direction that the board's going to rotate to help you bring it all the way around and maybe shave off like 20 degrees, but it'll still be a half down feel. Other than that, basically just have to practice, hopefully 
to accept. You can learn how to appeal.